So that's the segment I kind of want to get into now is just focusing in on this concept of rebirthing our mothers. You know, I hear people all the time say, I don't, I don't, my mama toxic. I don't want to do my mama, she's toxic. She did this to me, she did that to me. You know what I'm saying? We have this small list of things that, you know, have happened to us in our childhood. I'm not, I'm making light of it because I want you to understand that the mothers that you have, the women that you came through, were perfect for you. Because the things in this world that you have to do, the the energy that you have to come up against, the the type of creations that you have to create in this world, it, it took the mother that you had to birth you so that you can know what to do. And what I mean by that is, a lot of us who are, you know, I hear people say, I'll try, ain't nobody ever gave me nothing, I ain't never had nothing, I had to fight or, uh, you know, work for everything that I had. Yeah, but if you didn't have a mother or you didn't have foundations set in place to make sure that you knew what work habits were, then her being able to put the pressure on you of having to work for what you have, set the foundation of making sure that you can always create what you need. You know, when it comes down to me, I may, I may have felt like growing up in that situation with my mother that I didn't necessarily have the emotional energy all the time or she was maybe not emotionally available all the time. But what that taught me was to be emotionally available to myself and not only to myself, but to be emotionally available when it comes down to my daughter and, and just looking at the cycles, right? We're talking about generational cycles. My mother is a Capricorn. My daughter is a Capricorn moon. So if y'all know anything about moon signs, if you've been following me or you know anything about astrology and those things, then you know when it comes down to emotional energy, then you know that, you know, my mother being the Capricorn and my daughter being the Capricorn moon, I'm dealing with the same energy. Like, it's not really too much different. I grew up fourth house, having that energy of dealing with my mother, you know, not necessarily talking about her feelings. And I'd be doggone if I'm talking to this one about her feelings. And it takes a while, right? It's not, she doesn't just easily do that. But that's also a part of the cycle that we're, that we're here to work on. I'm here to work on. You're here to work on. Is understanding that the things that even our mothers don't work on can also show up in our children. So whether you want to deal with your mama or not, you're going to have to deal with it because your children, a.k.a. my daughter, having the Capricorn move, they show you what it is that you need to work on. And not because it's a weakness, because it's a power. It's a power strength that you have, understanding these dynamics. And if we were taught this along the way, then a lot of us who feel like we 